Dante. Okay, 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 we are back, ready to go, we're in action, there's a lot of drama going on, this is smart, with smart money capital, let's get straight to the business, right? First things first, let's just go open up the uh, SPX, that's gotta be number one, what we discussed today, uh, uh, what does that look like, it looks like someone's taking a dump, and it's just like coming out, it's about to drop into the bowl, the bowl's around 37.45, just saying, anyways, Anyways, let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's look on a large time frame. That was a 15 minute. Yes, I understand that looks a little bit different than what this 998 looks like. That was a little bit of an intraday play. So what I was discussing is possibly an after hours play if you're in a little quick scout. But by the time you see this, it might be too late for that. Anyways, it is 3.40 p.m. 128 2021 on a fine Thursday Eastern time, New York time. Yes, I'm right here with the elites of Wall Street. Ooh, I know that hurt somebody. Let's get straight to this. So right now you're in like a little bit of a 50-50 split. You're trading at 38.05. So you're trading between this range of 37.55 and 38.34. Um, look, this whole time I've been saying SPX looks primed for a crazy, ridiculous unpredicted run that none of these hedge funds are expecting now i'm not a fucking guru i'm not a furu uh, i'm i cannot tell you the future i just go by what i seen on the chart i could be wrong they can be expecting it what how about this it doesn't go on an explosive run to the upside it goes on an explosive run to the downside that is also possible, which, by the way, we are going to discuss that. You already know my target to the upside. Target to the upside is 4,000. My target to the downside, if a fail breakout occurs, 3,500 range. We're going to do this real simple. Remove the jarrings. We're starting fresh today, ladies. We are starting fresh today. It's a new year. You know how it goes. You know the whole new year, new me. Well, that's not how I go with things, but we're going to do a uh, new year. New drawings on the chart. Let's get straight to it. Obviously, pretty much the same zone. What I'm looking for would be potentially, potentially between here. Between here, which is, by the way, right here. So I can make it. All right. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. And I'll extend to here so it's visible. So that that's really how, how we're looking right now. We're looking between 35 flat. All right, give it take a few doll hairs to 35.82 if we're going to the downside, right? Um, you can get lucky with it holding 37. It's just, does it go there and hold again? It doesn't seem like it would, but it can. It's possible. But from what I see, I'm still bullish. I am still bullish. I know that I. there's a lot of people that say I should be treading lightly, but that's even more of a reason why I'm still bullish. Because if you're all bearish... I'm going to squeeze your fucking nuts and take all the juice out of those grapefruits and I'm going to drink it while I'm at 4,000, okay? Just saying, I could be wrong. You could squeeze my nuts and drink my grapefruit for all I give a fuck. I don't really care. It is what it is. I know my risk to reward. I weigh it out. If I'm wrong, I get stopped out or I manually close my position and I take whatever little nick that I take. That It is what it is, right? So, now that we're done with the SPX, that's the overall market, basically. Um, VIX is perking up. VIX is perking up. I did have 30 strikes for, what is it, for February 19th or something like that? Somewhere around that range. I am not in that position no more. It was just for me to have a comfortable hedge against all, all of the stocks that I've been buying. So, I, I did that, closed out, I think, yesterday or, yeah, it was yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Early yesterday, I didn't even get the full run, all right? I didn't I didn't get I didn't get what you see there. I didn't get that. I wish I did. 
didn't, but you know what? It worked out for me. It was a it was a well played hedge, and uh, still fucking bullish, man. So what am I looking for on the VIX? If I could get the VIX a little lower, I, I'm a buyer from like 25 down. I want to grab some calls on the VIX for as cheap as I could get them, because I just want something to to uh, hedge my, my my plays, right? To hedge my plays. Let's get into the infamous, the almighty, the AMD. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Did you, did you not get the memo? Did you not? Oh, excuse me one second. I think my uh, mouse might have died. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? Where's earnings? Hi. Hello. Hello. 206% surprise. And you fucking dropped the ball. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. PT will still be 104. If we are going to the downside, if we are going to the downside, this is what you're looking for, okay? This is around the range you're looking for of 79. I'm still not comfortable. I, I mean, I'm uncomfortable when we go to 79. I'm uncomfortable when we go to 79. Is my fundamental view on this now going to come into play? Like, ah, oh, I can't go past 79. This is AMD. Yeah, sure. But on a technical standpoint, when I'm at 79, I'm, I'm squirming in my chair. I'm getting a little uncomfortable, and I'm debating if I should just take all my profit. I'm, at that point, I'm just debating if I should take all my profit. All right? I really want the 8833 to hold. It was holding, but today and yesterday, you flirted here. For too long, and it might be a leg down, but that that's not the way I'm leaning. So yeah, I gave you both sides. I gave you my target of 104, and I gave you the potential of the leg down at 79.27. 79.27 breaks, bro. It's gonna get real ugly. You you can see 68s, and you can see 59s. So it it could get real real fucking ugly from there. Um, Corsair, ooh, fucking Corsair. Pump faked a lot of people yesterday. Pump faked a lot of people yesterday. Full disclosure, I own Corsair. Full disclosure, again, I added to Corsair uh, two days ago at the price we're at now. I, I thought I was uh, came off big. I didn't, I didn't come off big because yesterday I seen this and I'm like, holy shit, what a fucking buy I made. And then today we're here. So I'm going to get to why I think the market is where it's at right now. After I'm, after I move through this a little bit, all right. Uh, Corsair for me, my target personally on a long-term scale is a minimum of eighty dollars a share. Nothing has changed on this chart. Everything you see on this chart is still relevant. Okay, so you still see your 50/50 split at the 39.21. Right now we're in the lower range. We're trading in the lower range, which would make us want to watch out for 36.10 at 33.55. That could be a huge liquidity pull before a leg up. It is possible. It is definitely possible. Or we trade sideways here for a little bit before we do take our leg up to 43s. You want to see 43 break now with a body. This is why I say it is so fucking important for the body of the candle to close. You would have thought you were Mac Daddy of Mac Daddy when you seen this at fucking 50. And you would have been like, shit, we're going to continue. But by the end of the day, including after hours, because these candles take in after hours, okay? These candles do take in after hours. After after hours, this ain't shit. This ain't shit. So, take that with a grain of salt. You know, I'm just some random dude that just likes making YouTube videos and likes to trade stocks. I mean, it is what it is, right? All right, DraftKings. Looking all right. We've fi And... If anybody would like to take the time out, would like to take the time out to find the video where I drew exactly how this play is going out, the exact way this play is going out. You know how I said, oh, we're going to go here, then we're going to pull back, and then we're going to go there, then we're going to go trace out, da -da 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 -da, then go up. If you could find that video and clip it for me and send it to me in Discord, I love you. Okay? We're doing it. We're doing it. If now, yet again, this candle, the body, which has four hours left, needs to hold above 55.41. If we can see this above 55.41, 
Now we can start discussing the 59.83 area. And if 59.83 breaks, she. Should we do the math now? <laughs> it's been a while, right? So I should do the math for you. It's, it's only fucking fair. It's only fucking fair. Uh, excuse me. Just, just uh, give me one minute. Just give me one minute. And now, obviously, give or take, it's gonna it's gonna be off by probably you know some doll hairs. But I've I've been pretty precise. I'm gonna talk about that when I get to workhorse. Um, just I'm just putting the ingredients in the sauce, or some say gravy. So give me give me one minute. Okay, and done tonight. Seventy nine sixty. Seventy nine sixty, break to the upside. Now I'm not saying it goes straight. Nothing goes straight to to nothing. Sometimes it can, sometimes it can. But for the most part, and if you notice how DraftKings trades, it doesn't really go straight to anything. It bounces around. Uh, seventy nine sixty. Nope, can't see it on the screen. Why? Cause it's up in the motherfucking sky. So seventy nine sixty would be the target. What are you looking for it to hold at minimum? At minimum, you're looking for fifty fifty two to hold. 49.98 in that range. Come on, give it take a few doll hairs. That would be the range that you are looking for it to hold. Uh, let's get into da 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 da. ICLN. Just I just want to say. I just want to say because I I felt like I needed to say this because I've been telling you you got to get in, you got to get in, you got to get in. And it's proven that you had to get in because clearly every time I've said it, it's gone up. Not tooting my own horn. It's just fucking common sense. But besides that, full disclosure, I, I, I know I told you I own this since like $9 or something. Well, guess what? It's still not too expensive to me. You want to know why? Because I bought. I bought more yesterday. Not today. I didn't get this little cheap price down here. This little 28 jammer. Didn't get it. But I bought yesterday. I added to my position. I am comfortable with paying these prices. Yeah. Yeah, smart. Yeah. I am comfortable. You see all that that just happened? I am still fucking comfortable at buying at these prices. Why? Why may you ask? Um, because I got a lot to fill. I got a lot to fill, baby. A lot. And I'm coming for it. So, that's my answer to you. I added to my ICLN. Uh, MJ, I know I like lightly just brushed across this and said, oh, I feel obligated like I gotta talk about this and shit like that. Well... It did what I felt like I had to talk about. So now that we're here, now that we're here, I, dude, there can be a lot of upside to this stock. Like, if it's going to do it, there's a lot of upside. Your first test, right? Your first test is going to be 2321. After that test, this is this is the more crucial test, personally, in my opinion. 2593, let's just say 26 to be fair. If this shit gets past that, I mean, dude, I don't know where it stops. I don't know where it stops because then you're going to start testing 31s and then you're going to start testing 33s and then we're going to start negotiating 36s. Like, this is a conversation. This is a conversation. And if anybody remembers one of my older videos when we were charting uh, Michael's, the... Uh, arts and craft store uh i was charting in the sixes and the five saying this is a great fundamental play well it's at fifteen dollars and fifty six cents now anyways msos uh fundamentally i'd pay attention that's all i'm gonna say microsoft finally now if anybody could go back to a video two video three videos ago i don't remember exactly which one but i told you motherfuckers know something that you don't fucking know and they're loading the motherfucking boat. Well, they took off. They left the docks. They're gone. They're sailing. Where are they going to? I don't know. To the fucking island sipping a Mai Tai. Sipping a Mai Tai. What was our target? 240, right? PT was 240. You can find almost every video of me saying Microsoft PT 240. Guess where the fuck we at? 239.71. Not one body. Not one motherfucking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Closed. 240.92. 92 doll freaking cents. Not even doll hairs. 
Not even Doll Hairs has gone over 240. Wick's above 240, but the PT was right. But the PT was right. If this could consolidate here the way it is, 280, 260, seems very reasonable. Seems very reasonable. Very reasonable. What are you looking to hold? Now, there's a common play that happens. There's a common play that happens. It breaks the base to the upside. Right, it's very similar with W with W patterns. Actually, this happens a lot with a W pattern. Right, it's gonna break. It broke to the upside, and now, and now, sometimes can come back and test right here, right here, these pivot points, these pivot points. So watch for 225.67 to hold. Can there be some slippage to the 223s? Yes, of course there can. But watch for that range to hold. Um. I'd hate to say that this really can go to 217s. It, it, it can for the greedy fucks that want more before this continues. Very possible. Very possible. Anything below that? You burnt. You burnt. Cooked, fried, shooken up, stirred, burnt. Left it in the oven. Gone. Nicola. This is just a big old mind fuck, right? This is like, look at me, look at me, I'm coming back from the dead, and then it's like, ha 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 ha, I got you again. Eh. Eh. Not exactly on this one. Why do I say not exactly on this one? I think today's sell-off has a lot to do with some other things going on, but one of the things that I think is going on here is Tesla missed on earnings yesterday. Okay? So if Tesla missed on earnings, Tesla's the Mac Daddy of all electric, Guess what the fuck happens to electric when Tesla misses earnings? They sell off. They sell off. And when this is one of the bottom of the barrel piece of shits, this is going to sell off the most. It's going to sell off the most. So, can you take this as a buying opportunity? Possible, potentially, yes. Where are we? We're sitting where there can possibly be some demand. Not exactly where it is right now. 2155 to 1990. Yes, that could be some decent demand. Decent demand. Um, obviously, short sellers were sitting in this liquidity pool that I have marked here between 2694 and 2994. Um, if you can hold and settle above the 1990 mark and continue a little bit of an uptick here, we can go... Fuck over these shorts right here between 26 and 29. I know everybody's trying to fuck over shorts lately, right? And then after we do that, we could come squeeze to the 39s. And if 39 breaks, oh boy, you're booming 46s. You're booming 46s. Boom. Let's get into Neo. I mean, I, I, I don't really have anything to say about Neo. Uh, what I want to show you is, remember what I was mentioning about Microsoft, you know, breaking to the upside, then retracing back to the W side of things, and then bouncing off and continuing running. Well, guess what? Neo's looking very similar to what I just described about Microsoft potentially happening. Um, it's possible. It uh, clearly sold off today, just like every other electric company. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it, there's nothing really on a technical standpoint other than... If you are long, you don't want below 49.78. You don't want below 49.78. And if you have calls and you get below 49.78, you are going to die in decay. That's it. That That's really it when it comes to that. Square, I'm not going to talk about. It's just sitting here and just fucking collecting dust. Looks like it's getting good. It looks like it's getting good. Uh, I mean, a break above 226.48. We're talking business, honestly. You're talking, yeah. You know what? Let's make it. Let's make it two twenty-eight and a half. Talk to over two twenty-eight and a half, and you're talking business. You're talking business. Uh, to the downside, one one seventy-nine, one eighty area, really. And you know, I don't know if you really want to see that, bro. I don't know. It's possible because if if the market is getting bearish, that is gonna happen. If the market is getting bearish, that's that's most likely gonna happen. I, I there's no avoiding that. Workhorse. My bitch. My bitch. Okay, why? Pretty sure I mentioned in the last video that it was starting to be time to pay attention to the work horse. And I was proven right. Why? Because of this right here. So, came, consolidated below the 23 mark. Cool. Never broke 1865. Very important. Very, very, very important. Never broke this range, which is this right here. Hmm, interesting. Looks like that. Just got built right here. Hmm. Looks like this, 
that did that just got built right here. Smaller scales. Tightening range. What comes after a tightening range? It's time for decision making. Explosive move time. Tring. Start. Okay. That's what happened. That's what happened. What do they start doing? Start taking down walls. What walls? 2548. Wall. Done. Broken. Finished. Once it came to 28, they tested that. Full fucking send. What did we hit? My target of 3961. If you don't believe me that this was my target before it hit this fucking thing, well, guess what? Go look at my Discord. Go look at my Instagram. Go look. Go just go look somewhere, all right? And if you don't want to go look and you still don't believe me, fuck off. Fuck off. I don't really care. I made my money. Other people made their money. We're celebrating. We're happy. We're jolly. We're rolling in the dough this week. We're rolling in the dough this week. So we're chilling. We're fucking chilling. Anyways, hit my target. You know what happens when it hits my target. There is no such thing for a real trader of what if, what if, what if, what if. I hit my target. You know what happens next. I close the fucking position. I don't sit there and go, hmm, hmm, but I could squeeze five more dollars out of this and I might be a millionaire. No, stop it. Stop it. I could pay my car bill if this goes up another dollar. No, stop it. Trade the fucking technicals. And I did and I'm out. And you see what happened right after. It hit me and left me. It hit me and left me. Or did I leave it? Because I left that bitch in the dust. Now look at the price. 33.10. Okay? What am I looking for? Consolidation. Consolidation. If I can see some consolidating here, then I strongly believe we go back to 39.61. And at 39.61, we are going to consolidate yet again. Go sideways again. Right? For the next potential leg up. For the next potential leg up. Okay, can I give you a price target on where that is? No, I don't have the, uh, I don't really know how to say this in school terms, but I don't have the uh, math to get me where the next leg up would be. I only have the math for that, for this leg up that we just seen. So uh, that would be that. And you're like, well, how is that? Well, mind your fucking business. I just got the math for this. That's it. I gave it to you. If you utilized it, cool. If you didn't, I mean, <laughs> rub one out. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Zillow, I've been, like, really debating, um, am I going to sell? Like, am I, get, am, am I done here with Zillow? And then I'm like, yeah, but this is, like, the future. And it is. But was this uh, overrun? Did this overrun? Well, I can't really sell yet. Why? Because earnings is the 10th. Earnings is the 10th. And if it's, if it's really good news, I mean, you know. You know. So what is my concern? I, I just want to see 119 holds. Anything else I really don't give a fuck about. That's really it. Now let's get into the big boy. The big baby. Uh, I am on record on video on here on YouTube saying I was buying 26s. I even told you that that shit went lower than my buy and that I was still going to stay committed to the play. That is back here, my friends. That is right here. Ooh, can you see? Yes, you can. That is right in this consolidating area. And guess what happened after the consolidating area, ladies and gentlemen? Guess what the fuck happened? We went off and gone and schmovin. Target was $40. But what did I do? I had this sneaking suspicion that I didn't think 40 was going to hit right away. So on Monday, sold for... No, it was either Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday. Believe it was Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Let me see this. Which day was 39 as the high? Hi, 39. Boom. Yeah, Monday. Monday sold at 39. Okay, let me backtrack a little bit. So I bought enough of shares where I can hold long term and I can swing trade. Okay, so now all I have left is my long term shares. But on Monday, I sold half of my shares of my swing trade at 39. The rest of the shares I sold at 43. Okay. So did I get the whole move? No, but I'm not I'm not here for that, man. I'm not greedy. I made dumb money on it. Like I'm not going to complain. Same thing what I'm looking for here is what I was looking for in um workhorse. I'm looking for Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm looking for consolidation before maybe possibly potentially another leg up. Cannot tell you what's going on, what the prices may be until I see price action and then and then I could calculate. But for now, I, I, I can't calculate Dick and Shiola. Like, I, I can't. 
I cannot, I cannot calculate it. A uh, few things I want to get into. Uh, why am I trading a penny stock? Smart never trades a penny stock. Whoa. Well, there's this little thing out there on the internet right now that Robinhood doesn't really like, that Wall Street hedge funds doesn't really like, and it's called Wall Street. I said it like that so maybe the algo can't catch it and then make me not be able to put up this video or monetize it. So that's why it was said the way it was said. Anyways, they have been around for a very long time. They've been around before Robin Hood. So that's not the issue. They are well-known degenerate. Yes, that's what they are. Degenerate traders, gamblers, however you want to take it. That is what they do. I am not knocking them. That is their business. That's what they want to do. Cool. If you make money, congratulations. If you lose money, you you knew you were going to lose money. Anyways, besides that, I decided to start looking into some things that got this little hype around it. Sundial Growers is one of them. Full disclosure, I am in since 80. What am I looking for? I am looking for $2. I am looking for first to break uh, $1.19. And if I could break $1.19, I'm looking for $2. Let me show you on a large scale. You'll understand why. So, if I could break that dollar nineteen, I am looking for two dollars to two fifty. These are my two spots that I am looking for. Let me shorten that so it doesn't look ugly. I hate when it, when a chart looks ugly. It's like a huge pet peeve of mine. Okay, so from a dollar ninety seven to two dollars and forty eight, give or take a few fucking cents, whatever. When is this gonna happen? Within a week, if it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen within a week, I am gone. Okay, uh, what are you looking to hold? Anything below 80, run for the fucking hills. Okay, anything below, uh, you know what? Uh, let me be fair. Let me be fair. Anything below 65, run for the fucking hills. Okay, anything below 65, run for the fucking hills. Now, yes, GME, yes, AMC, Yes, all these crazy things happen. There were short sellers. I don't think I need to talk to you about it because I'm sure it's been shoved down your fucking throat enough today that you know what happened. If you don't know what happened, well, just type G in your Google. It will pop up. Or Walsh Etz, and it will pop up. Okay? Right away. Right away it will pop up. Um, I'm also trading this. This is more like a day trade style type thing for me. You know that's very rare for me, but... Sometimes I got to get into shit like this. Uh, SLV has been looking gorgeous today, which also, by the way, probably by now has more volume than what I mentioned earlier. It does. Uh, yep, it does. Mentioned earlier. When I say mentioned earlier, I'm sorry. I apologize. I meant mentioned earlier in Discord, which, wake the fuck up. Join the Discord. Stop waiting for videos. If you noticed, these videos, maybe once a month, twice a month sometimes if i'm feeling real good three times in a month but for the most part don't sit around with your dick in your hand waiting for my video join the discord i'm talking all day I, we're we're going back and forth all day on what we're looking at what we're getting in what we're getting out uh, all of it all of it charts examples um private option flows shit that institutional traders use we have in the discord it's in there why are you not there, and why are you just waiting for a video to look at my dumb fucking face? Don't do that, bro. You can watch my dumb face. I appreciate that. But be in the Discord. This is just an addition. This, that's all this is. This is just a little extra, a little, you know, icing on the cake. That's all this really is. This is for me to get personal with my people in my Discord. That's it. And if you're not in my Discord and you're personal with me like this now, well, why don't you come hang out with the rest of the gang, bro? Come come hang out. Come chill. Anyways, besides the point, what am I looking for? I'm looking for 2484 to break. If I can see 2484 break, I'm looking for the 2540 yet again. And if 2540 breaks, which if these two things break, by the way, I think they break break. Like they blast through like short squeeze style. Uh, 2636, 2747, and uh, gone. Gone. At that point, gone. Uh, to the downside, there is no downside. I'm going to be straight up with you. That was a very cringe response that I just gave you, and I don't give a fuck because that's the answer. Anyways, uh, yeah, on a three-week scale, look at the three-week. Look at the three-week. Does this no not look like it's consolidating for another leg up? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I can be. 
I can be, but from my educated guess, I'm assuming leg up, and my leg up goes all the way up to 3368. That is my target. So now that I touched on silver itself, let's go into First Majestic uh, Silver Corp, which would be a uh, mining company, I believe, and they also sell silver, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, this what this is this is it right here, baby, and I'm loving that it's pumping now because the fucking shorts or the hedge funds sucked it dry. From after the open, a lot of scamming going on with these hedge funds. Robin Hood not letting you trade, not letting you trade multiple tickers, hmm, and then force selling your shares for you, hmm. How many times has I, smart, from Smart Money Capital, came on this platform and told you to leave that piece of shit fucking exchange? It's trash, garbage. Come through, come hang out with me and think of swim. Come do it. You want to go get some free stocks from Weeble? Guess what? I don't have a link at the bottom. I don't even want the fucking referral, okay? Just go. Get off of Robinhood. I make money. I don't need your money. I'm just recommending to you to please, if you want to make money in this market and you want to be taken seriously as a trader and you want to take this seriously as a trader, you don't belong on Robinhood. And for anybody with over a fucking thousand dollars on Robinhood, dude, the Verrazano Bridge is right here. Please do it on a Sunday. Don't do it during work hours or anything like that. Jump the fuck off. Jump the fuck off, all right? You don't belong breathing the same air as other people in this fucking world, all right? You don't. Anyways, that's besides the point. I might have went too far. I don't recommend committing any type of suicides or anything like that. I don't want you to have any harm to yourself. It was a uh, very grimy joke, I guess. Anyways. So what is my target? If we can break 2071, I do have a target of, excuse me, I do have, come on, pop out, pop out, pop out. So my first test would be 24, right? If you could test 24 and break 24, I would like, I would like to see 38s all the way up to 52s, all the way up. How soon does that happen? I don't know. Depends on how big of a short squeeze this is. It really depends on how big of a short squeeze this is. By the way, uh, do you see the volume? That's 49 million. Do you see? Do you see the volume in AG? It's 49 million. I'm scrolling back. I'm scrolling back. 49 million. Last time that was was March. It was March. You understand? And on silver, the last time there was 136 million on silver was March, June, July over there. Okay. Just put these. Just put these all into perspective for yourself. Put them all into perspective. Damn, 32 minutes and I still got more stocks to go. Not going to touch on Apple. It, that's fundamental nonsense. Uh, let's just go to the Dixie real quick. It's very fast on the Dixie. Dead. <laughs> Don't you love to see something die like this when you knew it was going to die like this? I personally think this is a reload range for the next leg down and I'll show you. And I'll show you. I, I just think this is a little blip for us to go to 85. Personal opinion. Okay. Will be fair. If you want to call this a double double bottom, and then we could go. We're gonna go test 94. Fine. Short with f two hands, feet, your mouth, your tongue, your ears at 95. Short the fuck out of it. Okay. Not financial advice. I'm just a jackass sitting on his computer chair talking to you through a fucking computer screen, through a camera. I don't even know who you are on the other side. Hey, how you doing? Name smart. But that's what that is. Let's get into Bitcoin. Boom. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Oh, that looks good, don't it? Yes, it does. Well, let's go into the 998, baby. Let it load, let it load, let it load. Uh, I think this weekend's pretty juicy. What happens this weekend? Two things. You break below 28, gets real fucking ugly. Gets real fucking ugly. At that point, expect 23,000. At that point, expect 23,000, 24,000. Or, on the second hand, we come back and we start testing 35, 36, 37, 38,000. Okay? Two things happen this weekend. One of the two. One of the two happen this weekend. My personal opinion, not a fact, just an opinion, just a guy, just out here giving his opinion. That's it. Uh, This, on the other hand... This, on the other hand, the good old Ethereum. Ooh-wee. I think it's time for 2K. 
And if you really want to know my real opinion, I think it's time for 4K. Okay? Uh, we, we're we holding the 12s. We're holding the 12s. If those 12s continue to hold, it's 2K time. Probably 18 first, 1800 first, and then 2K. If we don't hold these 12s, well, you're looking at 1050. And if 1050 don't hold, 865 to 829. 865 to 829. That's it. There's, there's no other discussion. I'm not even going to zoom back to go all the way over there to show you why it's like that. Just know of 2017. When is this? Oh, it's 18. Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, 2018. So just know that's where those horizontals come from. Uh, Litecoin. Same old jam. It's the same old jam as Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin does the do to do, just know this is gonna do it too. Uh, Link, <laughs> baby, 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 fucking, it's gorgeous, bro. It's gorgeous. I believe a continuation pattern coming in. And honestly, if crypto stays on to the upside, this really has a chance to 100. I I'm, I'm really thinking about that. It has a chance for 100. Especially with the following that it has. Algo's been printing me money also, by the way. Just saying. Looking to test 67s and then 76s next, if I can see that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, same thing on ETH. I, I added more to the position. Uh, same thing on GPT, GBTC. That looks fucking hot, bro. Hot. If that's a true pivot, fuck yes. If that's a true pivot, fuck yes. Yes, I don't know yet. I got to see the following candle. This one got to close. If that's a true fucking pivot, it's party time. Anyways, did I miss anything? Wait, wait, wait. I did miss something. Someone asked me for something. Let me see if, if I remember if this is the right. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just check the Discord to see if... And can you add PRNT and THCX to your next vids? All right, we're here. All right, BZ, B Show, we are here. Let's check out what you got going on. We're gonna start a three week. Too young for a three week, but good enough to give me that, and give me that. Oh, hello, oh hello. Okay, let's go there. Uh, let's go to a weekly. Do, do, do. Nothing on there for me on a weekly. Oh, I'll, I'll give you some support, though, on a weekly. This is a light support. This is not strong. No, I'm not doing it. Three day. Yeah, that's an ugly support. <laughs> right here. Go there. At 12.57. I mean, bro, you're like in the middle of no man's land. Honestly. You're like in the middle of no man's land, but shit. I don't really charge you like this, bro. This is like... This is like not even... There's nothing for you to chart here, dude. Check it, dude. There's nothing for me to chart here, dude. I mean, hope you hold 15.48. And if you break above 18s to 20s... It's all time highs. There's not really much for me to say on that. What was the other one? P R and T. Ooh. Arc. Okay. Okay. Anything arc is fucking good. Jesus Christ, this thing's pumping its ass off. There's no fundamentals for this dude. I mean there's no tacticals for this dude. Come on. What tacticals do you want on this dude? Seriously. Like do you want me to tell you uh Supports at 26. Uh, I I can't really. Let's look at intraday trading. I I could show you some day trading maybe. Let's see. Psh, come on. Let's hold my EMA, bro. Hold 36.52. That's really it. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you anything, but it's it is the stocks that you chose. That's why I couldn't give you anything on them. Uh, but for everybody else that just watched me do that live, went in the Discord, checked what he asked for, and did it right here, dude, you could do it too. You could ask me too. Put it in the comments, do it in Discord, whatever you want. You you can do it, and I'll be there for you, bro. I will be there for you 100%. I, I, I'm there. I'm ready. I'm willing and able to help anybody that wants help. 
and that is going to help themselves also. So uh, that's it for me today, guys. Uh, this is Smart with Smart Money Capital. I do appreciate all of you. I do appreciate all the new members we're getting in Discord. I appreciate all the new followers on Instagram, on TikTok, and all these other places. Smash the like button. Leave a comment. Share with your friends. You know the deal. Um, that That's really it. Stay profitable. Don't be greedy. And don't fucking FOMO. Don't fall for the fucking FOMO. It is not necessary. And I am the fuck out. Peace.